Today we are going to learn about waves, what types of waves exist, and what are their properties. First, what is a wave? It's a displacement that transfers energy through a medium without moving the medium. There are three types of mechanical waves. We are going to explore two of them today. The first wave that we will observe is generated by a disturbance that is perpendicular to the motion of the wave. This type of wave is referred to as a transverse wave. The next type of wave we will observe is generated when the disturbance is parallel to the motion of the wave. This type of wave is known as a longitudinal wave. One of the important properties of waves is the speed that the disturbance travels down the medium. What happens if we change the amplitude of the wave to the speed at which the wave travels down the medium? Note that the amplitude doesn't affect the speed that the wave travels down the medium. The amount of energy transferred down the medium, however, is different. What happens when we send a pulse down a spring and it reflects off of a rigid boundary? When a wave reflects off of a rigid boundary, the wave is inverted. What happens to a wave when it encounters a less rigid boundary? Some energy is transferred into the string while some of the energy is reflected back along the spring. Note the way the pulse is reflected back in this case. It is not inverted, as in the case of a rigid boundary. What happens when two waves interact on a spring? When two waves occupy the same space at the same time, they interfere with each other. As the two waves travel towards each other, do they bounce off of each other or pass through each other? Let's look at some high-speed video to see if we can find out. We will send one large pulse from the right down the spring and two small pulses from the left and see what happens when they meet in the middle. When the large pulse and the small pulse are at the same location on the spring, they interfere. This means that the two pulses' amplitudes add together. Hopefully you were able to see that the pulses in fact pass through each other as if they were the only waves on the spring. This principle is known as superposition. When two traveling waves of equal amplitude and frequency are moving in opposite directions, they interfere. In some locations, they interfere constructively, and in others, they destructively interfere. This pattern appears to stand still in space. These are called standing waves. You will study standing waves in the next two activities.